What's good, everybody? It's your boy Bulldog, aka Jesse, and today is episode 9 of the Grind for Gold, and we'll be using the AUG SMG. So, we're going to be starting the SMGs now that we have uh, already completed the assault rifles, and it's also Christmas today. So, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to everybody. If this video helps you at all get gold on this gun, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And first what we're going to do is take a look at a really cool Easter egg. And then after that we're going to look at the class setup and the attachments we're going to use. And also the camo challenges we need to get gold on this weapon. So let's get into it. Alright, so they added this really cool Easter egg to Winter Docks. And it's kind of a callback to the original Back to the Future movie. But with a COD twist. So what we're going to do is we're going to sit here and wait until this clock strikes midnight. And once it does, we're going to shoot that little weather main up there. And then something pretty cool happens. So here we go. And there it goes. And then there's Riley and Captain Price. And they gone. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So yeah, I think that Easter egg is pretty cool. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. So for the class setup, we're going to run our primary weapon is going to be the AUG. Our secondary is going to be the RPG because we're still trying to get gold on our launchers. For our perks, perk 1 is going to be cold-blooded. So this way we don't get targeted with AI-controlled score streaks. Our second perk is going to be restock. And this way we can restock our Semtex and our Stem Shot a lot faster. Also, we're going to be running tune-up so we get our field upgrades quicker. And just like I said, our lethal is going to be the Simtex and our tactical is going to be the stem shot. So now we're going to take a look at the attachments that we're going to need for this weapon. And in the early stages, I usually run with some kind of close range sight, either the operator reflex or the GI mini. So we're going to use the operator reflex for right now. Uh, for our grip, we're going to use the granulated grip tape, and this is going to help with aiming stability and aim walking steadiness. For the barrel, we're going to use the 407 millimeter extended barrel. For the muzzle, we're going to use the tactical suppressor, and this is just going to help keep us away from the enemies and try to keep us off the radar. And finally, we're going to add the Merc foregrip for our underbarrel. So now we're going to take a look real quick at the challenges we need for this gun. For spray paint, you're going to need a total of 500 kills. For woodland, you're going to need a total of 100 headshots. For digital, you'll need 110 crouching kills. And for dragon, you will need 100 hip fire kills. Splinter is 50 long shots. Topo is 50 mounted kills. And if you're on Shoot House or if there's Shoot House 24 7, I highly recommend picking that one, especially if there's a hardcore version, because you can sit on either side of the middle lane and mount up and get your long shots and mounted kills at the same time. Next, for Tiger, you need 250 kills with all five attachment slots. So you got to have all five attachments on your weapon uh, in order for this to start tracking. Stripes is going to be 40 kills quickly after reloading. So you hit your reload and then you have about 3-4 to four seconds to finish the kill. And I'll go over a class setup for this one in particular and a little strategy I use to help get this done. Reptile is 75 kills with no attachments. So we'll take all the attachments off and then we'll start killing people that way. And finally, for skulls, you need three kill streaks 25 times. So you got to kill three enemies without dying 25 times. And then we'll unlock gold on this weapon. So, what we're going to do right now is hop into our first match and we're going to work on the woodland, digital, and dragon. So, let's get into it. So, we're going to work on our crouching, our hip fires, and our headshots. Yeah. I know I see. That was me. We're at the HQ, stand by. I'm so sorry, teammate. Oh no, it's just me. Ready for flight. Dude, shit is so chaotic. Ha! 
I killed someone while I was blind. HQ. No! There's a headshot. So chaotic. This is gonna be a pain in the butt to freaking edit this part. Yeah. All right, so we got that done, and we've completed uh, all of our headshots for this weapon. And our crouching kills are finished as well. And finally, all the hip fires. The hip fires are pretty easy, especially if you get shipment. So, what we're going to do next is we're going to work on our long shots and our mounted kills. So, let's hop back into some gameplay. Gotta hate dumbass teammates. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, he left the game. Oh, get mounted killed, son. There you go. Take that. Get wrecked. Haha! <laughs> How you gonna get out shot by a freaking? Oh my God! You too, son. Let an SMG wreck you like that. That's disgusting. <clears throat> Well, I found a good spot to do the mounted long shots with the SMGs from Vacant, so that's a good sign. All right, so that's not as bad as uh, when we were doing the assault rifles and we had to camp a whole lot. We were able to mount up in other places too. But we got these all completed for our long shots. And for our mounted kills, we've completed these as well. So what we're going to do next is work on Reptile. And we're going to take all the attachments off our weapon and get back in it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. No attachments. Here we go. No attachments. Right. Oh, I got to reload. Get out from up top. Dude, what is up with the spawn? Alright, so this gun with no attachments really isn't that bad. Every once in a while it becomes a hit marker machine, but it just depends on the range. But we got it all done, so no big deal. What we're going to work on next is we're going to finish out the spray paint, the tiger. We're going to start working on the stripes and the skulls. So let's add some attachments here. And the first attachment we're going to add is the sight. And we're going to use the GI Mini Reflex. Then for the stock, we are going to use the Forge Tag CQB stock. For the perk, we're going to use the sleight of hand perk. The rear grip, we will be using the stippled grip tape. And finally, we're going to add a laser and we're going to be using the tack laser. Now, the only problem with the tack laser is the enemies can see it, but we'll be moving so fast that by the time they see what's happening, they're already dead. So, no big deal. 
And let's hop into one last set of gameplay to unlock gold for this weapon. Desk pop. Reload. And get the kill. There we go. I'm reloading. Oh, nice little triple. Dude, I died so hard my body. Kill confirmed. Got you. I'm reloading. Confirmed. Reloading. Reloading. Ah! Ha! <laughs> I'm reloading. Ah! Kill confirmed. We're in control. I'm reloading. Desk pop. Reloading. And reload. There we go. Get the kill. Why did he say that? Got them! Because they like when I wreck them. Okay, so we've completed all of our 500 kills for this weapon. Our tiger, which was the kills with all the attachments, we got that one done as well. So we're looking good there. Red tiger and blue tiger look really good on this gun. Stripes, which is our quickly reloading kills. We have completed that. And there's the green one. That one looks really nice. I prefer that. And then for skulls, we've completed the skulls. And this was getting three kills without dying 25 times. And now we have unlocked gold for this gun. And this is what gold looks like. So what we're going to do is switch out some attachments and we're going to go with what I think the best setup is for this weapon. First off, we're going to add the monolithic suppressor to increase our damage range and give us a little sound suppression. For the barrel, we're going to add the 622 millimeter long barrel and this will increase damage range, bullet velocity, and recoil control. For the underbarrel, we're going to stick with the Merc foregrip. And for the rear grip, we're going to be adding the rubberized grip tape. So, this is what I think the best attachments are for this weapon. And let's hop into one last set of gameplay and start snapping necks and cashing checks. Alright. Be a shame if someone shot you in the face. Yeah, it would be. You can't even find me. Oh, no. So this is what the gold <laughs> hog looks like. Not too shabby. Yes, yeah, this is not bad. Tango down. Oh, oh, oh. So we got gold on the AUG, there's one SMG down and we got five more to go and then we'll have platinum for the SMGs. If you want to see what I'm up to when I'm not streaming or making videos, you can follow me on Twitter at Bulldog87G. If you want to catch one of my streams, I stream Friday, Saturday, and Sunday on Mixer.com slash Bulldog87 underscore gaming. During the holidays, we will be having some bonus streams 
probably Wednesday and Thursday. So don't forget to check in and catch those. Also, there will be a new video uploaded every Wednesday. So don't forget to check back in right here on the channel. And before I forget, it is that time of year. So let the annual noob harvest begin. So I'll see you in the next stream or I'll catch you on the battlefield. Peace out.